Voici Nink, c'est moi, durant mon voyage en France avec Patrick. C'est impossible d'entrer au Viton à cause de longues files. Nous avons donc visité un parc voisin. Vous avez entendu les enfants Les grenouilles qui parlent Waouh Non, ça pas tout ton frère, s'il te plaît. Voilà, laisse ton frère respirer. Ouais. Voilà, ça va aller, c'est bien les enfants, bravo Coucou. Recevions une gentille invitation de Marlene Plant. Là, nous avons rencontré au, au Café Giraffe Terence Jalanter et nous nous sommes assis sur la terrasse avec une vue splendide sur la tour Eiffel. The Brandy Museum features the indigenous art and culture of Africa, Asia and Oceania. In the rear of the museum there is a small hut and in the hut a memorial to Agnes Varda's cat, Zugu. It was a cold day and we did not have tickets to the Jack Mart André Museum with a selection of pictures by Caravaggio. So we had to wait in line. Once inside, however, the Jack Mart is magnificent. Michelangelo Merici de Caravaggio was probably the most revolutionary artist of his time, for he abandoned the rules that had guided a century of artists who had idealized both the human and religious experience. He can be said almost single-handedly to have created the Baroque style. We were finally joined by Natalie. Le Cercle de l'Union Interalliée est l'un des plus beaux hôtels particuliers parisiens qui appartenait auparavant au Rothschild. Son jardin splendide, son centre sportif contemporain, sa cuisine de qualité et sa riche histoire séculaire sont des attractions particulières. Look to RER to Saint-Germain-en-Laye for a visit with Claude and Regina Carrel. We had an enormous cassoulet for déjeuner à Bougival.
kindly gave us a lift back to Paris. Spritz at the local cafe with Gabrielle Roux, daughter of Marijke Roux. with Marie van Islande de Garnier. Saint Germain de Pré, home to Paris's most famous restaurants and cafes. The Dermago is among them, and they serve a superb spritz. The Brasserie Lip, Café Floor. The Procop is called the oldest café in Paris in continuous operation. It was opened in 1686 by the Sicilian chef Procopio Couto and was the hub of the artistic and literary communities in the 18th and 19th centuries. A long queue at the Pompidou Museum was not appealing. But at the back of the Pompidou Museum, there was an old man feeding the pigeons. He certainly attracted a lot of attention from the pigeons, seeing the numbers that concentrated around him. Le musée de la chasse est consacré aux animaux et à la chasse. Donc le col, le commanditaire, celui qui a commandé le tableau, il est très bon, il a un très beau portrait de sa jument et de son énorme artiste. et d'autres animaux. Un renard allongé sur une chaise a l'air d'être vivant. Nous avons rencontré Nathalie Alequin devant le Panthéon pour voir la pendule intéressante de Foucault. Yes. Very grounding. <laughs> it's grounding, yes, you bet. Well, it works with the gravity of the earth, so yes, it can't yes. be any more grounding, yes. And it changes it, slightly, doesn't it, from it time goes, to time? No, it changes, uh, it follows the gravity of the yeah, earth, it so it's completely on time all the time. Natalie showed us the site in the 5th arrondissement. Her tour included the house where Descartes used to live, the Jardin des Plans, and a Roman amphitheatre, and Le Collage de Bernardin with art on the floor. Ce soir-là, le défilé de mode de Jean-Paul Gaultier eut lieu au Folies Bergères. Malheureusement, le théâtre était en très mauvais état et le spectacle est accompagné d'une musique bien trop forte et 
trop de nullité vulgaire. Next day, we met up with Patrick Vabre and Marie-Belle at the Musée du Luxembourg. There was a wonderful exhibition of muchas paintings and posters. Afterwards, we all had a great dinner at Brasserie Lip. Visited the Rodin Museum located in the 18th century Hotel Biron. From 1908, Rodin used the Hotel Biron as his workshop and subsequently donated his entire collection of sculptures along with his paintings by Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet and Auguste Renoir that he had acquired to the French state on the condition that they turn the buildings into a museum dedicated to his work. The Café du Commerce has several floors and Ninka wanted to eat on one of the upper floors, which we did. In Paris, dogs like an evening out as well. Arriving in Aix-en-Provence, we picked up a rental car and drove about 76 kilometers to meet with Elka Priot in Cotinac. The train journey was somewhat marred as Ninka lost her cell phone somewhere between the Paris apartment and the Gare de Lyon. The following day, Elka drove us into Aix-en-Provence to see the town and have lunch. Another disaster. Patrick's wallet was stolen by pickpockets at the parking garage. Well, we could not let that sort of thing get us down. So Elka drove us on to Saint-Tropez. There she found her favorite boulangerie and purchased some marvelous cream cakes that she said we would eat when we returned. Neither Ninko nor I remember seeing the cream cakes again, so we can only presume. Hmm, the mystery deepens. Leaving the cream cakes aside, we went on to Nice. Elka had remarkable energy and stamina and never seem to get tired of driving. Back on the TGV, we headed for Toulouse to see Pim and his family. Pim is one of Ninka's brothers. The following day, Pim and his wife Rose took us to see Carcassonne. We stopped at the Canal du Midi for coffee and then on to Carcassonne. Carcassonne is about 80 kilometers from Toulouse. It is built on a hill and since Roman times been of strategic importance. It became famous for its role in the Albigensian Crusades when the city was the stronghold of the Occitan Qatars. Napoleon Carcassonne was demilitarized, and the fortified city fell into such disrepair that the French government decided that it should be demolished. In 1849, a decree to that effect was made official. This caused a huge uproar, and it was then decided to restore the place. In 1853, work began with the architect Violet de Le Duc playing a major role. In 1997, it was added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites.
Après la visite de la forteresse de Carcassonne, un déjeuner dans la ville était le plus important et bienvenu. Ce même soir, Pim nous a fait visiter Toulouse. Dans la grande rue, il y avait une foule immense. Les policiers me poussaient contre les murs. Il s'agissait d'honorer Saint-Saturnin, premier évêque chrétien de Toulouse. Il a été martyrisé en ayant été traîné autour de Toulouse, attaché derrière un taureau. Cet énorme taureau mécanique est paradé à sa mémoire. Après le défilé du taureau, un merveilleux dîner en famille. After our adventures in Toulouse, we took the train to Bordeaux and from there to Sorcinac, a small village, to stay with my brother and his wife Liz, and then back to Cotignac for a few more days with Elka. With Elka, we attended the annual Village Follies. And Elka driving, we traveled down a very bumpy road to see the world famous Cascade. Elke very kindly drove us to Grasse, which is in the hills north of Cannes. It is famous for its long established perfume industry. We visited the, one of the largest perfume makers called Fragonard, which offers tours, and you can see how the perfume and lotions are made with various types of ingredients, such as eggs. Savon à fleur d'oranger, bon, on va mettre 3% d'une base fleur d'oranger et on rajoute un colorant alimentaire. Dans cette première machine, la balle à malaxeuse. On mélange le tout environ 20 minutes pour que le tout s'imprègne bien. De Cotignac au Calabas, ce n'est qu'une route brève. Et nous avons une visite rapide avec de vieux amis, Hanneke et Gerko de Meester, du Trecht, qui étaient en train de vendre leur maison. From there to Marseille for a few days.
The museum in Marseille is very new and very modern, but unfortunately it did not have any outstanding exhibitions on show at the time. This was our last stop before heading back to Paris and then San Francisco.